came back is the incredible The way the lady said he was where he was at the moment All right, so we're gonna go over lists now if we've gone through arrays, so list shouldn't be if you got if you know what an array is, list should not be a problem for you whatsoever. So a list is a as it's called a list where you can store different uh, types of data. For instance, we could store strings, we could create a, a custom object, and we could store that in the list as well. So let's start off with something simple. Let's start by creating a a a lust uh, a lust <laughs> I was gonna say string and list a <laughs> list of type string and then we're gonna call it names equals new list perfect and within our names we wanna we can add stuff to the list so we're going to add a string because again it's a list of type string so we're gonna add Joe gonna copy and paste that and we're gonna do Mary is it one we're gonna okay cool and what else we're gonna add binary bunny can't even spell binary bunny perfect now if i were to do a for each and let's do for each name in the names collection and then print out the name let's see control f5 we shall see. Oh, as you can see, it prints out Joe, Mary, and Binary Bunny. Perfect. And let's uh, let's create a custom class. Let's do uh, animal. And this animal is um, let's make it public because it's private by default. And we're going to create two properties. We're gonna call oh, actually let's let's declare two fields. So public string name. And we're also going to do public uh, int age. And within whenever we declare this, we're going to pass the two values. We're going to do string name and int int age. Perfect. We're actually going to we're going to make these private private. And we're going to refactor them real quick. So underscore name. Perfect score age and we're gonna declare the value so age is going well let's do it in order name equals name and age a underscore age equals a this keyboard age perfect now if we remove this list real quick and create a new list of type animal animals equals new list perfect control kd to indent the code uh, animals oop, animals add new animal and within here we can actually declare uh, oh no because um, we're initializing the value straight away so we're going to pass it the name to begin with this is going to be brian and the age is, I don't know, five. And then we're going to add Larry. The age is 12. And the silly goose, age 12. Now, we're actually going to put a breakpoint right here and run it real quick. And if we look at, let's just step through one more time by pressing F11 and then going down. Now we can see we have three items within the list. And if we dive deeper and look into the items, we can actually see that the first animal being Brian with age of five and then Larry with age of 12 and the silly goose with age of two. Perfect. Now we can actually, you know, print this out. Let's do that real quick Oop. for each animals, animal, perfect. Also, right line by typing CW and tab tab and oh, animal. So, what is this going to do if we try to print out animal right here? See, it prints out the actual object, it doesn't print out the name or the age, so it doesn't print out any of the fields, it prints out the object. That's because we're passing it the object and not the, the fields. So, 
the easiest thing to do here just to you know grasp the concept is you know change these to public so we can access them public and let's do some string interpolation let's do uh, and then, oh yeah but I should probably explain that so to do the string interpolation you got to do the dollar sign and th and then you know the string so double quotation marks and then curly brackets and within those curly brackets you can actually execute code or technical terms invoke code so animal add the thing for a second animal why can't I I can't, I can't spell there we go animal dot name and we can we can actually make this look a little bit better by doing name you can add normal strings as well to the, the thing it just string interpolation that allows you to use both so string name space and then age and then we're gonna do the magic thing again animal dot age perfect now control the five and as you can see we now get all the animals their name and their corresponding age so again as i say in all my other videos don't just watch the video you know try this write this out don't don't be lazy just type it out i mean like this right here is like what ten, five lines of code as you want two three four five yeah okay five five to seven lines of code you know just try it out it's fun you can create your own custom objects and you can do your own lists and you can do you don't have to do a for each you can actually do like you know uh, oh animals they have a lot of properties so animals that i don't count and uh, we can actually you know print this out and then control f5 and you can see how many objects there are in the list there's a bunch of things you can do with it this, this is just an introduction so Again, go ahead and look this up if there's anything you're curious about. Feel free to leave a comment down below and I'll answer you as soon as possible. And yeah, that's be that's it's oh hey, hi, I can't even speak. It's been fun. I hope you learned something and I'll see you in the next one.